Leah Chase is the queen of Creole cuisine and the next chef on our journey today. She was born Leah Lang in 1923 in Madisonville, Louisiana, and she was one of many children whose family struggled through the Depression. Her family is truly rooted in Louisiana, with only one grandparent not from Louisiana, and they were from Mississippi. She learned to cook and learned about food through her childhood experiences. She came to New Orleans to attend Catholic school, which was not available to Blacks in Madisonville at the time. She attended St. Mary's Academy, the land for which was donated by Tommy LaFon, who we met earlier. She married Edgar Dickey Chase II in 1946, whose family owned a po'boy shop in the Treme. Eventually, the couple turned the shop into a sit-down establishment. Dickey Chase was the first white tablecloth fine dining establishment for people of color, and many of Chef Leah's recipes were used to create the dishes enjoyed by everyone. Dookie Chase was an essential location for secret civil rights planning meetings in New Orleans where Chef Leah served them delicious food. Chef Leah recalled in a 2014 interview with WDSU, the Freedom Rides, when those left from New Orleans to meet them in Birmingham and the other places, they came here first. I fed them and they would really always have their meetings over a bowl of gumbo and some fried chicken. Dookie Chase is still a family-run restaurant with the fourth generation at the helm, and it's still a place for politician stops, serving both George W. Bush and Barack Obama, who made a memorable 2008 visit where Chef Leah had to explain not to add hot sauce to gumbo zerbs to the presidential candidate. Chef Leah died in 2019.